So welcome to Insights. This is April 29th, 2021. I'm Tom Caldwell. And for a change today, I'll be interviewing Elizabeth Namofsky on an initiative that's been taken by Caldwell Securities and the team at Caldwell to help people, to protect people from the fraudulent calls, abusive calls that are going on these days during this COVID period. Liz, tell us about this initiative. I'd be very happy to. You know, speaking of fraudulent calls, just yesterday from 9.30 a.m. till 5.30 p.m., I received 10 phone calls telling me that they're going to arrest me. I have to give them my social insurance number because it's expiring. The bottom line is in Canada, they will not arrest you. We don't do that here. Our social insurance numbers also don't expire. So what we decided to do is we have such a diverse group uh, working at Caldwell with so many different languages that everyone wanted to be a part of this initiative. So what we did was we actually sat down, we used the same script, but different languages were recorded. So we've got Tamil, Mandarin, Cantonese, Macedonian, Greek, Italian, German, French, and the list goes on and on. And we're really excited to bring this to you. The videos will be on the Caldwell Securities YouTube channel, They'll also be on the Caldwell Securities website, LinkedIn. And what we'll do as well is mass email them to you. So if you find them helpful, please share them with the elderly, whether they're your grandparents, seniors that are living alone, or just new Canadians, because we all need to be protected. So we hope that you really enjoy this initiative. And if you have any comments, please feel free to email us. We always are happy to hear from you. So Tom, let's talk about the markets. Well, I will, but just before to finish up on your comments, I think it is absolutely great because the people that are frightened the most by this are elderly, people living alone, or new Canadians, because they come from regions where governments are not as benign as they are in Canada. Mm -hmm. The Canadian government or utilities don't threaten people on the telephone. They might do it by mail, but they don't <laughs> do it on the telephone. But it's to, it's to frighten people into giving them information so they can be stolen from. And that's the thing that you've done. And congratulations to all the team for doing that. Markets, I guess we should mention a bit about it. I was chatting with an entrepreneur uh, yesterday and uh, we were chatting about ideas. And I said, you must remember, there is more money than there are good ideas. If there's more money than there are good ideas. And these days, we're awash in money, cheap money, low price money, low interest rate money. So there's lots of cash around looking for ideas. Some of them will be good, some of them will be bad ideas, but we still have this this amount of money trying to look for opportunity, and that is underpinning this market. I still think that's a bit of steam left to go, and today is a lot of earnings coming out, uh, and yesterday as well, and the earnings are surprising still on the upside. The recovery, where recovery is occurring, quite strong. So lots of money chasing ideas, looking for good ideas, and some of them is going to land on bad ideas, but the money's out there, and it's still underpinning markets. That's great, thank you so much, Tom. And just a reminder to everyone, if anyone is asking you for your personal information, don't give it to them. Every entity that needs to know your personal information already has it. So our slogan is just hang up. Nothing will happen to you if you just hang up. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.